WSMB4 News. Thanks for joining us for this WSMB4 News update. I'm Amanda Hara. Bullets fly through two busy intersections within two days, and now Clarksville police are asking people, look at your security camera footage. Several cars were shot at the intersection of 101st Airborne Division Parkway and Peters Mill Road. Nobody was hurt there, but one person was hurt at the intersection of Wilma Rudolph Boulevard and Holiday Drive. Look at this. Police actually shut down that intersection and eventually found the suspect's car. They did not, though, find the suspect. A man is accused of trying to kill his own brother in Madison overnight. The brothers were arguing inside of an apartment, and when the fight moved outside, one brother shot the other. He's now charged with attempted homicide. Country music artist Zach Bryan says he was out of line in the things he said to law enforcement when he was arrested in Oklahoma yesterday. On Twitter, Bryan says he had an incident with the Oklahoma Highway Patrol and that his emotions got the best of him. Bryan was charged with obstruction of investigation. Some mid-state families say dangerous drivers are making their neighborhood unsafe and even scary. It's happening in the villages of Garrison Cove. This is in Murfreesboro. Police say they've seen cars taking out mailboxes, fences, flipping in the middle of the street. And look at this video. It shows a car doing donuts right there in the cul-de-sac. Families say that teenage drivers are to blame and that enough is enough. I would describe it as uh, horrendous. It's scary because we all have families. Well, neighbors have been calling on the city to install speed bumps, but the city says that's not going to happen because most people are driving pretty close to the speed limit in the area. So now they're encouraging everyone with traffic concerns to file a complaint online. We now have the autopsy for the baby who was found dead at an illegal daycare in Bellevue. The medical examiner says they still aren't sure why the three month old died. The medical examiner says the baby was healthy. There were no signs of poisoning or that the baby had been hurt. The woman running the illegal daycare has not been charged in the baby's death. Prosecutors had been waiting on this autopsy report. She is, however, facing six counts of child neglect. A group of Blue Cross Blue Shield employees are suing after they say they were fired because they didn't get the COVID vaccine. They say the company denied their request for religious accommodations once BCBS issued a mandate two years ago. Blue Cross Blue Shield says the vaccine requirement was the best decision for the health and safety of their employees. About 41 employees were fired for not following the policy. All right, don't forget, early voting for Nashville's mayoral runoff ends tomorrow. So far, more than 52,000 people have cast an early ballot. Early voting ends Saturday. Election Day is Thursday, September 14th. And if you're still undecided, we've got interviews with both candidates inside the WSMB4 News app and on all major streaming platforms right now. For the next week, Music City is going to turn into Fair City. The second annual Nashville Fair kicks off today. They've got rides, games, and live music. The fair ends on September 17th, and it definitely feels like fall fair weather, Stefano. It, it certainly does, and we're not you know, just jumping right into it. We're easing into the cooler air, the cooler temperatures, so that's certainly some good news for us, and it's still very comfortable. So the rest of our day today, good sunshine, low humidity, low to mid 80s will be low to mid 80s through the weekend with a few spots in the higher elevations staying in the 70s. Clouds and sunshine mix, I can't totally rule out a weekend shower. Most of us will see nothing, but any and all weekend plans you may have by the pool, at the fair, low humidity, golfing were mainly dry, yard work looks good, and if you have any dinner plans, those are looking nice as well. Keep in mind, though, the pollen outlook significantly increasing again. Grass and ragweed are the main allergens today, Saturday, Sunday, all the way through Monday. That's pretty much all the way up to high. So a lot of us that have those allergies need to take the medication over the next few days here. We do have some rain coming that'll give us some relief, but it's not until late in the day, Tuesday and overnight. Monday looks dry at 86. Tuesday is mostly dry at 84. Now this rain is coming ahead of a frontal system, so I wouldn't completely rule out a thunderstorm, but there's no severe weather threat. Wednesday showers will continue in the morning. They'll taper off by the afternoon Wednesday and into Thursday. Notice the temperature difference. We're back in the 70s both of those days as we work our way through the afternoons and those overnight lows are back down in the 50s. Amanda. All right, Stefano, thanks. That's your WSMB4 news update. You can stay connected in our news and weather apps. Have a great Friday and a great weekend.